What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney if you're new here. So I'm back with another Yes Style try on haul today and this is gonna be Y2K inspired. If you don't know what that means, just means early 2000s fashion. Everything is in this stranger's bag right here actually. It's not gonna be a huge haul today, but I love the early 2000s fashion. I was actually born in 2000, which I think that is a great year to be born. While I love this time period, I'm not really too educated on who the 2000s fashion icons were. I mean, I would say basic people like Britney Spears, but to me, anyone on Disney Channel is my fashion icon, so at least at that time. But definitely for me, Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen are my go-to fashion inspos. I love watching their older movies because their fashion taste was so amazing. I actually watched Passport to Paris the other day and I'm obsessed with everything they wear. They are so adorable. But yeah, when I was picking out all my clothes, I definitely was thinking of them because they just are really iconic. So I'm really excited for this haul today. If you have not heard of Yes Style, they're a really affordable clothing website. Everything I'm showing today is going to be less than $100. I'll be sure to tell you guys the prices and compare the pictures on the website. So before we get started, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and don't forget to check out my Instagram to see how I'm styling some of these awesome pieces today. By the way, like this video is not sponsored by yes style i'm just filming this to give you guys an honest review so if you want to keep on watching let's get started all right guys starting with the first item i'm wearing this brown halter top and down here it has like this mesh like ruffled area there's definitely not a lot of fabric to this top this is what the back looks like. This top is $8 and I got it in a size medium. Happy I got a size medium, it fits great. There's like barely any fabric like right here. It's just really low quality, like it's wearable, but you can just tell that it's $8. Because it's mesh, I think it would look really cute with some low-waisted kind of pants. And then let's compare it to the picture on the website. I think it looks similar. Probably the one in the picture looks a little bit different, like better quality. I like this top, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up, but quality-wise, definitely not the best. So I'm gonna rate this one a seven out of 10. And then I'm pairing it with this plaid mini skirt. Out of everything I'm about to show you guys, this is definitely the best quality. This was $15 and I got it in a size small and I'm really happy I did. Here is a little overview of what it looks like. My favorite thing about this skirt, it is actually shorts so you don't have to worry about flashing anyone i love that this is only 15 dollars and they offer other patterns which i will be getting more i don't know if you consider this early 2000s to me this is maybe more 90s i just think it looks good with this top also at the end of the skirt it has this like hole on each side and it is barely holding on by a thread i hope one day it does not break but when i sit down it kind of feels like it is and then it does have a zipper that you zip up in the back and i love how the skirt does doesn't ride up because there's shorts underneath it. And I definitely recommend this one. This one is definitely getting a 10 out of 10. Next item I'm showing is this really cute but basic black crop top. I actually own this top in white and dark khaki, so I thought I would now add the black to my collection. This top is $10 and I got it in a size medium just because it is on the tighter side. I'm someone who likes to wear tighter crop tops, so if you are like that, I actually got this in a size medium and it's already tight as it is, so I definitely recommend sizing up in this. It's really funny though because their tag looks like a Brandy Melville tag. I know that they're trying to copy them, but the funny thing is, is it's only $10 and it's the same exact quality as Brandy Melville. But even just pairing it with this skirt, I think you can dress it up. I have really cute black platform shoes that I'm gonna pair with this sometime soon. I love this one. If you're gonna get anything this haul, pick up a basic black t-shirt. This dress I'm about to show you guys is probably my favorite thing ever. I really had low hopes for this dress just because I didn't know if the quality would be good. It probably wasn't gonna look like the pictures, but it does look like the pictures. Wow, I don't know why I'm just so shocked that this actually turned out great. And I cannot wait to wear this. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but I hope it's soon because I need to take some pictures in this. I believe this is gonna be the most expensive thing. This is $25 and I also got it in a size small. I'm really happy I did. I really wanted to make sure that it was gonna be like slim fitting. Here's a close up. It is this satin sage green kind of color. Just a basic like earthy green color. It's really pretty. I love the lace detailing and on the bottom of the dress, it also has a lace detailing towards the end, which is good because it helps the dress flow. This dress has an open back and it's adjustable. You can make it as tight as you want, which really helps if it's a little bit looser. One annoying thing is that it doesn't line up with my chest. And that's what the review said too, so that's a little bit annoying. But I just realized, guys, it's cute like this, but I think it looks even better off the shoulder. 
Like, are you kidding me? This is so pretty. I think this is a perfect wedding dress or even just a date night dress. It's really pretty. Here is a picture on the website. As you can see, it looks the exact same. I'm really happy with this. I give this a thumbs up. This deserves a 10 out of 10. This actually deserves an 11 out of 10. I'm wearing this blue halter top. It's basically screaming early 2000s. Here's a close-up. It is definitely super thin fabric. It's actually on clearance right now for almost $8. They do have other color options, but I decided to get blue. Kind of wish I got black just because I like to wear black a lot of the time. I also got this in a size small. Happy I did because I want to make sure that it's tight enough and nothing's gonna fall out. So yeah, I think it's cute. The quality could be better. I wish it was thicker honestly just because it's not padded at all. There's a picture on the website, you can compare it. I think it looks the exact same. Still not my favorite thing because it's not really my style. And the next thing I'm showing is a pair of black cargo jeans. These are apparently low-waisted as it says on the description. But as you can see, it is definitely not low-waisted. But it's okay because it still works really well as high-waisted jeans. These are $22 so I would say it's affordable and I got these in a size small and I'm happy I did. They fit really nicely. They also have this in a dark green color and also the material isn't even jean material. It's cotton. Really, really comfortable. There's also only one pocket. Just comparing the pictures to what I got, I think it looks really similar. I rate these a 10 out of 10. Before I move on to the top I'm wearing, I just want to show you an accessory I got. So I got a claw clip. I have gotten this before but in a different color and it actually broke on me. This is in between two to five dollars. Warning you, this is pretty low quality so I would be careful. I have it on my Instagram. Here it is. It is this adorable dragonfly crop top. So this one is only $9 and I got it in a size medium. The small and medium are actually out of stock right now. They have it in a size large, which I actually wish I got a size large because around the arm area it is really tight. I definitely recommend sizing up. Here's a close-up of the dragonfly. I do want to mention that if you are washing this in the laundry, make sure to put it inside out because I can already tell that this is easily gonna like come off and fade away. That part feels cheap, but other than that, everything else is really nice quality. I love the white outlining of the top. This is what the back looks like. Here's a picture on the website and I think it looks the exact same. So I'm giving this one a thumbs up. Okay, so the last clothing item I'm showing today is this red satin corset top. It is so cute. The only issue is I got it in a size medium and it is definitely way too big on me. But good news, this is only $7, so it's really affordable. They have a few different colors. I will say that it kind of does remind me of a Halloween costume pretty thin and this color red specifically reminds me of a Wonder Woman costume. I mean it pairs well with these jeans. This is definitely a nice going out top. If I would have known it was stretchy, I would have sized down but there is a lot of reviews. I can't remember if they were saying that it's stretchy so you don't really need to size up for it but other than that I love how affordable it is. It's really cute and it's a perfect top for going to a party. Comparing it to the picture on the website, I think it looks pretty similar. What they're wearing looks a little bit different, like more higher quality. I'm gonna rate this one a 5 out of 10 just because of the quality and the sizing issues But let me know in the comments if you guys think I should get this top But just in my size, I can't tell if I like this color on me So I have two more things to show you in this haul. I actually got this necklace So I got this beaded flower choker. This is only four dollars So it's really cheap and the quality is actually pretty good Like this is the kind of quality you would find at a touristy shop at the beach. Yeah, okay, actually Okay, I thought the clip Part wasn't working for a second. So it's a choker. My neck is so skinny. It's also really long, literally on the last hole and it's still loose on me. I don't really wear jewelry in the ocean, but this is the kind of thing I would wear in the ocean. I really like this and I have one more thing to show you guys. This is super early 2000s, but Yes Style wants me to include this. So here it is. They sent me this bling bling hair styling kit. I never owned this as a kid, but I remember seeing the commercials about it. It's basically just this bedazzling machine. You can put the jewels in your hair. I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see how this works because I really don't know. <laughs> okay, so I have it open now. Oh wow, it actually comes with a lot of jewels. It looks like you literally just put it in there. Guys, I'm actually really excited. I kind of always wanted this as a kid. <gasps> oh! Sorry, I'm laughing at my boyfriend, he just pulled up. Okay, I'll do one more. 
That's so cute. Oh my gosh, I actually cannot wait to wear this. I don't know if like once you run out of the jewels, I don't know if you're able to replace them. Ooh, honestly, you could probably reuse these if you really wanted to, but it comes out of your hair really easily. It just has a little bit of a stickiness to it. This is so cool and definitely reminds me of the early 2000s. I finally have one and I'm 22 years old now. <laughs> so that is the end to my guest style haul. I hey, hope that- wait, wait, hang on. I don't wanna be in this. Oh. Then you better leave. So that is the end to this guest style haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I don't know if some of these are even early 2000s inspired, but hopefully you guys still found inspiration from this haul. I really do love everything I got, except this top. This was kind of big on me. If you want to check out my Instagram, I'll be posting some pictures of how I'm styling these outfits. It's at Courtney Marmo. Make sure to follow me. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite thing I got was because I'm curious. I love you guys a lot and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!